calling your sphere out of the blue kind of feels weird sometimes, right? Well, today we're covering the seven things to say when you don't know what to say so that it never feels weird to call your sphere again. Hi, everyone. Alex Camilio here, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle with AgentInnerCircle.com, and I thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, Before we get into this, I just want to give a quick shout out and thank you to our good friend, Neil Mathweg. Uh, Neil is a longtime realtor uh, and now trainer and coach extraordinaire. Um, So if you haven't checked out Neil's stuff, definitely check that out. But we appreciate you submitting uh, your ideas and content for this. Um, So thank you so much to Neil Mathweg. Now, Neil makes a great point, and it's something he and I have talked about before, which is that it's really hard to call your sphere, um, especially when you're not sure what to say. You know, it's like, hi, uh, this is Alex. Um, What's up? Right. And it's like kind of weird, especially if you haven't talked to them in a little while. Um, So I get that. Right. I get that it's definitely a weird thing to do. But the trick is to give yourself excuses to call people. And that's what we're going to be going over today is the seven things to say when you don't know what to say and the excuses that you can give yourself to call those people. Now, the best part is that the seven things we are covering today are generally pretty inexpensive uh, or totally free to do, and they're super duper easy to do, um, and give you, they give you that opportunity to reach out and to call folks. Before we get into that, though, uh, just a little bit of housekeeping. If you are watching this on YouTube, please hit that subscribe and notification bell bu- down below. Uh, pretty much anywhere you're watching this, if you can leave a comment or review, um, we greatly appreciate it, uh, as well as a like anywhere down there is hugely, hugely helpful for us. And if you're looking for any more content um, from us, more helpful templates and scripts and all of that wonderful stuff for free, as well as some great conversations from our community, head on over to agentinnercircle.com or our private Facebook group, The Agent Inner Circle. There are amazing conversations and a ton of templates and drafts and scripts and all that wonderful stuff that we give away all the time. So definitely head on over there to check that out. Great. We've covered it. So let's dive on in um, and talk about the seven things to say when you don't know what to say. And like I said, these are essentially the excuses that you can give yourself um, to reach out and to talk to somebody. And again, thank you to Neil Mathwig for these. These are a lot of ones that he uses as well as I'm going to add some in here of uh, ones that either I've used or I've seen other agents use um, throughout various markets. So number one on our list here is to plan an event. And you might be saying, well, Alex, what do you mean plan an event? I thought you said inexpensive or, or free, right? Well, you don't necessarily have to even plan an in-person event. You can even plan a digital event and get away with the same thing. So either you can give away stuff or, or host an event digitally um, or host an in-person event and do it pretty inexpensive. We know appreciation parties, client appreciation parties, things like that pay off uh, huge dividends. So definitely check those things out and plan and host an event and reach out to people. Um, I even know a good friend of mine, uh, Gary Rogers, uh, hosts uh, usually movie nights. Now, obviously, with COVID, this wasn't possible for a little while, but he had a ton of success with hosting movie premieres and things like that. So hosting an event is a great resource um, and marketing tool in and of itself. But the best part is that you get an opportunity to reach out, to call your sphere, and to say, hey, You want to come to my event. You want to come to my party. You want to come to my thing that I'm hosting, even if it's an online uh, or digital party. Now, the better part with digital parties um, is that we have a resource set up for you uh, over on the Agent Inner Circle. I'll do my best to link that down below. Um, But we have a resource where we have a whole set of templates and things for you to host your own Uh, digital events. So head on over if you are looking for that. All right. So that was number one. Let's get into number two. All right. Number two is uh, creating a survey. Uh, 
Now, I'm not talking about a super official uh, online survey or even a, a something emailed them. I'm talking a very unofficial, casual reach out, call them and say, hey, I'm trying to improve my business. And I really appreciated working with you or really appreciate you as a friend or whatever it might be and say, hey, can you give me some feedback? Um, and I have usually about three questions is what we suggest is ideal. I have three questions, um, and I'm wondering if you can give me some feedback on these uh, to help improve my business. Now, asking for folks for help like that, they'll usually say, oh, absolutely. I'm happy to help. I'm happy to give you that feedback and help you improve. And then you ask them some very basic questions. Now, we, in the blog that goes along with this video, uh, have some example questions that you can use and make it very easy for you. So head on over there uh, if you do want to check that out. But um, I'll just give you a quick example here. Uh, you know, if you were looking to buy a home, where is the first place you would start your search? Super simple, right? But the greatest part is this gives you an excuse to reach out and to call somebody and start a conversation. And the best part is that you're starting a conversation about real estate. So super easy um, and definitely something you can implement totally free in your business. All right. So that was number two. Let us get into number three. Um, that is setting up home sold alerts. Now, generally, this is going to be another free one uh, because your MLS or some of your uh, either website providers or things like that have these features built in. And essentially, all this is is, hey, would you be interested in getting an alert when a home in your neighborhood sells? Um, you're going to get how much it sold for, how long it was on the market, and some basic information about that home. Now, most people who live in whatever neighborhood want to know that information and get updates on that. So if you don't already have uh, your past clients, your sphere on that list, just reaching out to say, hey, I have this piece of value to offer you um, is a huge benefit and is something that often works out. And they say, oh, yeah, that's great. But even if it doesn't, even if they say, no, no, thank you, I don't really need that, I'm not interested in that right now, anything like that, you've still given yourself an excuse to call them. You've still given yourself a reason to reach out, to pick up the phone, and to start a conversation with them. So absolutely huge. And like I said, generally another free one for most folks. Number four, um, we're going to get into here is to create some sort of VIP club on Facebook. Uh, this is something Neil did successfully for years. Now, this isn't necessarily totally inexpensive. Um, you, you can do it in an inexpensive manner, but it's not going to be free. Um, but, but Neil created a VIP club on Facebook. He then created essentially like a tool shed that was a community tool shed. And on the Facebook group, people could go and request and essentially rent for free um, various tools, right? And they could share those tools and, and you know, a drill, a snowblower, a whatever it might be. Now, in your own community, um, I've seen folks where they even get everybody to sort of donate either their old tools or donate, you know, to the community and be able to share back and forth. But hosting the central spot for something like that, some great piece of value uh, for all those people is huge. So creating some sort of VIP club on Facebook and then figuring out what sort of value to add with it is great. The reason we give that example is Neil did that for years um, and it is something that was hugely, hugely successful for him. So that was number four. All right, we are going to get into number five, uh, which is the uh, to announce the start of something like a newsletter, right? Anything new that you're doing in your business, especially if it's something that you're going to be sending out to people, you can absolutely um, set it up where you announce the start of it and ask if people want to receive it. Now, for um, something like this, uh, I know Neil used Service for Life and uses Service for Life. Um, so that one was really great for him. And he was able to reach out when he started it and say, hey, I'm starting this newsletter. Uh, I really want to, um, you know, reach out and let you know about it and see if you want to get it and all that sort of stuff. But again, the great part is uh, it opens up the conversation and you can just open up the dialogue from there. All right. So that was number five. Uh, as I said, Service for Life, hugely successful for over 20 years for 
thousands of agents at this point. Um, so definitely check that out if you haven't already. Uh, it makes it very, very easy to start and maintain a newsletter. And again, if you are looking for that reason to call somebody, that is a great, great reason to. So that was number five. We are going to get into number six now. Uh, number six is that the market is up. We need listings. Simple as that. Hey, the market is going crazy. Uh, we need listings. We need help with that. Um, have you ever thought about selling your home or do you know anybody who has thought about selling your home? The other piece to this that you might want to think about is it's not always necessarily about asking folks, um, hey, are you thinking about selling or do you know somebody that's thinking about selling? What we find really works best is to tie some sort of life event to that thing when you reach out to call. So instead of, hey, do you know somebody's interested in selling their home? It's, hey, do you know anybody whose kids just went off to college, right? We know statistically those people are more likely to be selling their home at some point in the near future. And it's totally okay to say, hey, do you know somebody who's in that situation that they might need help um, you know, might need my help, right? And you can vary this, you know, wide, wide degree uh, in calling your sphere and having direct conversations with people, all right? So that was number six, is that the market is up, we need listings and figuring out a way to get that in uh, and to talk to people about that. So that was number six. And let's get into number seven. <clears throat> um, make sure that you people, that people know you sell real estate. And I know this might sound odd, um, but so many real estate professionals out there are, and Neil put this sort of a funny way for him, which is he's a media company that happens to sell real estate. Um, he started a, a I love Madison .com in, in Madison, Wisconsin, and did a whole ton of content on the community, on where he lived. But he found out that people didn't realize that he was even a realtor. They just thought he was doing community content or things like that. Um, so whether it be friends, family, colleagues, uh, you know, people you went to school with, all those sorts of things, make sure that you know that people uh, really think that you are a realtor, that is, that is your primary function um, and what you do. And calling folks to just say, hey, uh, you know, I just want to make sure, you know, you know I'm in real estate and see if you have any questions or need help on anything in that regard. Um, it might feel a little weirder than the others, but trust me, it works very, very well especially if you feel like your community might not know that you're a realtor because you are publishing all sorts of other content outside of your real estate practice. All right. So I said seven, I know I said seven, but, <laughs> but wait, there's more. Um, I actually have an eighth, which I'm going to personally add to this list because it is something I do. And I know it's something, um, that, a lot of agents do with success. Um, a friend of mine even does this with text successfully. A friend, Sean Carpenter, uh, does this. And the one I'm adding here is just call to check in. Hey, how's it going? I just want to call to check in, see how you're doing, see if there's you know, anything I can help with or how the family's doing or anything like that, right? As long as you're not salesy, as long as you're not immediately jumping to like, hey, can, you know, can I help you buy a home? Well, by the way, how's your family, right? Or like, how's your family? Okay, cool. Can you, can I help you buy a home or sell a home? Like, you can't be that. But just calling to occasionally check in and say, hey, how's the family doing? How's the house that they might have bought, you know, with you? Um, how are things working out there? Uh, have you made any improvements? You know, there's all sorts of things just to reach out, to check in, to say, hey, just checking in right? People appreciate that, especially if they don't feel like there's some ulterior motive um, to you always checking in. And you don't want to go overboard, right? You don't want to call on a weekly basis and be like, how's your home? How's your home? How's your family? Like, unless they're real friends, right? If they're real close friends, um, obviously call people as much as you want. But uh, if you are just calling to sort of follow up and check in, it never hurts to check in on them, the family, the house, uh, anything of that nature, because it works right? It works very, very well for a lot of agents out there. And it works well for me as well. Um, and then I want to know from all of you, 
What excuses do you have to call people? What things have you come up with and said, oh, this is such a, a you know, great excuse and I, I call people and I, I say this or I use this or I do that. Let us know down in the comments below. Please let us know down in the comments below um, what excuses you have. What reasons do you call people for that we didn't cover today? Because like I said, within our communities, we are always having amazing discussion, trying to improve one another um, and help one another grow in our businesses. So please let us know down below in the comments. Speaking of comments, uh, I got to do some housekeeping. If you are watching this on YouTube, please hit that subscribe and notification bell down below. Um, it helps us an absolute like ton. So please hit that down below. If you're watching somewhere else, comment down below, hit that like. Uh, if you're listening to this um, on some other media, definitely comment and like down below or leave a review. Uh, we greatly appreciate that. As I mentioned also throughout uh, the video, uh, head over to agentinnercircle.com. There are a ton of resources over there. Uh, templates, drafts, uh, scripts, all sorts of stuff we give away for free, as well as our private Facebook group, um, the Agent Inner Circle. Definitely join over there, and we would love to see you. Last but not least, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, ServiceForLife.com. Uh, Service for Life is um, uh, just an amazing resource for agents, and one of the reasons that we are able to bring all of this amazing content and templates and all that sort of stuff to you. Uh, so huge thank you to Service for Life, uh, and again, those links will be down below. All right. Well, thank you everybody for joining today. I greatly appreciate it. Um, we have covered the seven steps uh, and the seven things to give yourself excuses. So you have something to say when you don't know what to say. So it doesn't feel weird and you're not left like me going, uh, hi, this is Alex. And, uh, yep, that's about it. I know you can do better. Um, so we've hopefully given you the outline to do so, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. So this has been Alex Camilio, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle with agentinnercircle.com. And as always, best wishes for your success. Mm -hmm.